This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so what are we going to discuss in this session is credit management. Okay, so we will talk about credit management today and tomorrow we have a project discussion. So I hope everybody has started working on the project together with the FI team. So if, there, if you are facing any issues, if there are any doubts, whatever you have completed till now, we will have the discussion tomorrow. So tomorrow it would not be the common, sorry, it would not be the normal session. We'll be having the consolidated session with FI and MM, and we will try to understand what is the status of the project. Wherever you are getting stuck, whatever queries, errors, we will discuss those. So no one is responding to our emails. Oh, is it not starting yet? For tomorrow. Yeah, see, we have tried multiple times to connect with FI team that uh, carry on with your configuration so that we can do uh, later on. Uh -huh. But no one responded. Then me and Tushar started uh, our uh, configuration using the company code and the GL account which we created during the class. Okay, no, that is not a purpose here because we need to. Uh, you have to uh, collaborate yeah, with finance. Is, so uh, it's not happening. Do one thing. Uh, after this uh, meeting today, I will send a mail to everyone that please coordinate. There should not be any silos, and please make sure that uh, mm. by today, like afternoon or the evening. Yeah, someone people. initiated. Right. Akshay Chauhan guy initiated, but then there, there was no reply. Then we thought, what was the But you have the groups. You created the WhatsApp group also. Uh, no, WhatsApp group. We did not. Bottling it on WhatsApp. I think I provided. You already have the numbers of all the uh, yes, members. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just, just push on that because that is very important. Otherwise, yeah. it will okay. become a normal training. I don't want this to be the normal independent SD, MM and FI training. I want you to get the feel of how exactly the project is done. Okay, so these are all the things that are required in the project also. The project also you need to coordinate and these are very common issues. You must be knowing us, right? You are already working. Yes, yes, yes. I'm currently um, working on one. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so, MM guys, MM guys, uh, uh, never responded that particular thing. Okay, so, we'll have this discussion tomorrow. Let's start with our uh, yeah, topic I today. Because, yeah. yeah, if you want to have the tomorrow's discussion productive, at least try to get in touch with all of your colleagues today so that uh, tomorrow at least you have some doubts, clarifications. Okay, otherwise, it would okay. be like un it would be just like. Uh, Nobody is responding. We are not started. Okay. Anyways, mm -hmm. so coming to the new topic which is a credit management. So, what do you think? What exactly is a credit management? What What do you mean by credit management in SAP? Anyone who is so basically, uh, basically, yeah, basically, company. Every company needs and credit uh, for a particular uh, uh, time period or a particular quantity in every uh, every organization. So in SAP, we have a uh, means characteristic that uh, we can give credit uh, for a particular customer for a uh, for a particular time period. Right. So this uh, credit is for customer or for the companies to take it from the outsiders so normally this credit management when you are talking about credit management this is basically for customers okay as you said Tushar. so each and every customer see whenever you are working in the big companies then most of the transactions are not the cash transactions it is not like you pay the amount and then we will deliver the material most of the transactions are on the credit basis which means you deliver the material to the customer and after a few days based on the payment terms, customer will be paying you the amount, right? So there are two important things here. Uh, you said two points. One, you said how much credit to be given? To be and given how to long customer. it can be given? Sorry? And how long it can be given? 
exactly second question is how long it can be given so how many days uh, you want to give to the customer to pay the amount okay it is same what uh, Nagesh said how long it should be given okay so these are two important things number one is how much credit amount you want to give to the customer and number two is for how many days you want to give the credit to the customer so how many days this should be given this is controlled by payment terms okay in sap we have the payment terms which is common for uh, your uh, fi mm sd everywhere you would be using the payment terms in sap okay so if i show you in the system if you remember in each and every sales order whenever we are creating the sales order system is asking one of the field as mandatory field that is nothing but your sales order so let me just log into the system okay so if i go to any particular sales order whatever we have created till now so you can see in this sales order there is a field called as payment term this payment term defines how many days you want to give the credit to the customer so for example if i go with this pt it is 30 days okay so it is like uh, 0001 which we have defined this 0001 is payable immediately but this one you can see 0002 what it is saying is normal payment term is 30 days but if a customer is able to pay within 14 days then we will be giving additional two percent discount okay so this kind of payment terms can be configured we will talk about this payment terms also in maybe another session but just uh, because Tujar has initiated this discussion it is very important for you to know where exactly you will be able to tell the system that how many days this credit to be given so this is this is from where system determines that how long you want to give the credit to the customer but when it comes to how much amount to give okay that is not controlled from payment term payment term will just tell you okay when the payment is expected what would be the due date but if i want to know how much is a amount that i am allowing this customer to give that is controlled from credit management so credit management functionality doesn't determine how long you want to give the credit but it determines how much amount you want to give the credit to the customer okay so for example if i have 10 different customers or if i have two or three different customers let's say customer one customer two and customer three now if i want to know how much credit i should give to the customers can you tell me based on what you will be defining how much credit to be given to customer one customer two and customer three what are the deciding factors so based on how quantity much sale, how quantity much sale of the particular material one, uh, Akshay, can you go ahead hello yes Akshay. yeah uh, how much sale that customer uh, does in one month uh, according to that let's let's assume this customer is a new customer okay definitely if okay. a customer is an old customer you can keep on updating his credit limit going forward but the first time let's say this customer is dealing with you for the first time so how will you define what should be the credit amount i should give to this customer mm -hmm. uh, normally sure. there is a policy like for new customer you will not be giving any credit as such but otherwise we will what we check is is uh, credibility we'll ask for his bank details and other information from there we can get his background uh, how much investment is done where all what all is doing what kind of product is doing whether he's a production guy how long when he buy our product how long it takes for him to manufacture the product and then sell based on that we can decide upon that is one factor the another mm -hmm. being uh, uh, bank uh, uh, od details based on that also you can decide on another factor or like uh, one other business types we have third parties who will check the credibility of the customer and get back to us saying that this is his credibility this is this is what he is having loans or whatever based on that company can have a, their own policy and decide upon 
ती क्रेडिट मॅनेजमेंट क्रेडिट डिटेल्स असतो राईट एक्झॅक्टली सो व्हॉट हॅपन्स इज व्हेन एव्हर यू आर वर्किंग इन अ कंपनी यू हॅव युअर ओन पॉलिसीज टू आयडेंटिफाय हाऊ मच क्रेडिट यू विल बी गिव्हिंग टू द कस्टमर बेस्ड ऑन विथ डिफरंट पॅरामीटर्स सो वन ऑफ द पॅरामीटर कॅन बी ओके दिस कस्टमर इज डिलिंग विथ अस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम but we will ask him for references like where exactly from where exactly you were buying this materials earlier so he will give you references okay i bought the material from this 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 is different vendors maybe you will check with those vendors how is his creditability how exactly whether he pays the amount on time or not is there any uh, disputes that this customer has created or is there any uh, written offs bad debts against this particular customer which means the customer has never paid for any particular so that is one way that is a manual way in which you will be collecting the information from different sources another source can be which is a reliable source is a as you said third party agency so this is very common in the industry if i if i just give you the example if i want to apply for the home loan okay or maybe all of you have gone through this process so home loan personal loan whatever it is so if you want to apply for the home loan how this companies how this banks decides whether how much amount to be given to you as a loan so what they do is they check your creditability they go to the credit scores and based on the credit score they decide how is your uh, behavior in the market okay so that is one of the very important factor which is normally considered by most of the businesses so what they do is they go to the credit rating agencies they ask the credit rating agencies to provide the score the score is based on Uh, whether you are paying your credit card bills on time or not whether you are paying your emis on loans on time or not it even includes uh, for the major businesses it also includes whatever are their other credit you had taken from big companies which is appearing in your uh, credit statement so whether those are being paid on time or not right so based on this factors customers uh, sorry companies will decide how much credit they want to give to the customers so what happens is uh it is possible even in sap uh, sap s4 hana it is possible that the system can calculate the credit limits of the customers on its own based on different parameters okay so if i show you uh is it is actually component within sap fscm within sap fscm financial supply chain management so within financial supply chain management if i take you to the credit management component okay here you can be able to check uh just give me a minute yeah so here if i take you to not this one yeah you can see this formulas this is where you can create your formulas to verify how much limit you want to give to the customer you can see this is one of the formula limit for b2b customers limit for b2c customers b2b means the other companies b2c means the final customer consumer right so this kind of formulas exist if i show you the formula editor it will tell you the complete logic okay this is very straight forward let me show you something else so for example if i want to see this formula it takes in account various different parameters okay someone has removed that formula that is the reason it is not appearing here but let me try just for example how the formula looks like yeah you can see there are many different conditions that you can enter here so for example uh this is this is not only for the new customer this is also for the existing customers if on month on month basis or quarter on quarter basis you want to uh, review, review the credit limit of that customer so based on various different parameters for example it is from which industry from which country this customer is okay when exactly this company was founded so how much old this company is what is the profit and sales ratio okay so if if the customer is already dealing with us from last few years we can easily identify how much profit he is giving to us uh, based on the total sales volume that we have done okay and based on all these different parameters ultimately the system will be able to calculate the limit for you so this particular functionality of calculating the credit limit based on the different parameters okay this is also possible with sap s4 hana credit management okay but i have to segregate here i need to tell you very clearly 
So let me give you some background. In SAP ECC, first I'll go to SAP ECC and I'll tell you what was happening in SAP ECC. In SAP ECC system, most of the customers, there are two options. In ECC, there are provides, SAP ECC provides two ways of managing the customer credits. Okay, number one is SAP SD credit management. Okay, the credit management functionality in SAP SD was available in ECC. So instead of going to FSCM component, it was possible to configure the credit management from sales and distribution. Okay, basic functions. There is a folder for credit management. You can see this credit management folder. And within this credit management folder, you can see currently it is not allowing me to go inside. Why? Because if I click on this documentation, this is the documentation. It is saying that this credit management is not no more available. The credit management in S4HANA works only on FSEM credit management. But in ECC, if you work on ECC system, you will be able to see all the configurations here also, many configurations here also. So in ECC, what was happening? Most of the customers were using this old functionality of SAP SD credit management. But in ECC itself, this SAP FSCM credit management was also available. Okay, so it is not new. FSCM credit management is not new, but there were two different options available to the customers. This was old. This is a very old functionality and FSCM was introduced around 10, 15 years back. Okay, in the credit management, FSCM was introduced around 15 years back. This is more than 25 years old product, SD credit management. The difference is this is an advanced tool and this is a basic tool. So this SD credit management doesn't allow you to calculate the credit limit. If you are using this SD credit management, you will not be able to create the formulas, you will not be able to tell the system how the limit should be calculated. All these calculations of limits and all, was done externally. It was not done in SAP system. You do it in Excel or you do it in mails, whatever you want to do. Ultimately, in SAP system, you were just coming and you were telling the system that for this customer, this is a credit limit. Okay, so the calculation and all was outside SAP. And in SAP, you were directly entering the credit limit that you want to give to this customer. But in this FSCM credit management, it is possible to use the formulas calculate the credit limit and ultimately this credit limit whatever is calculated this will be also available in the bp master data okay so if i go to my bp okay let's assume i'm opening one of the customer here so let's take this example of this customer i'll come to our customers also later on so this is one which is already configured so here if you remember we have discussed two rules which are the two roles for customer? Right, FLCU 00 and FLCU 01. Right, these are the two roles related to customer. This is for company code and this is for your sales organization. Sales. Right. Same way, you will be able to see UKM triple zero. This UKM triple zero is a role for SAP credit management. Okay, if I go to this role, you will be able to see this credit segment data and you will be able to see this new tabs, credit profile and credit worthiness data. These two things and credit segment data, these are the things which will appear only when you select this BP role. Okay, so now if I click on credit segment data, Okay, I'll be able to tell the system. I'll tell you what is credit segment. No need to worry at this stage. So just for example, I'm selecting this credit segment. You can see this is where I need to provide the limit to the customer. So I'm telling the system, this customer got the limit of this much amount. Okay, so if a customer is asking me materials every time, I want to verify whether the customer got the sufficient limit or not. For example, you can see, Currently, although the credit limit is how much? I think 1 lakh, 10 lakh. In terms of, uh, yeah, 
टेन थाउजेंड यूएसडी यू कैन से और सॉरी नॉट टेन थाउजेंड मिलियन या टेन लैख यूएसडी इन टर्म्स ऑफ इंडियन दिस वन टेन लैख उटरे worth 329000 which means if a customer is giving me order if a customer gives me a new order and that order value is more than let's say 7 lakh which will exceed my total credit limit then system will throw error okay let me show you how so let's assume this customer has given me the order now i'll go to transaction v01 i will do create with reference or maybe i can enter all the details but let's create it with reference and i want to see the orders that i already created for this particular customer under the sales organization fsm as of now i'm showing you some other sales organization but later on we will configure in our company code so fsm and here this is a customer right 214 if you remember this the bp that we opened was 214 so i'm selecting this customer okay click on copy so i'm trying to create a sales order for this particular customer okay now it's a confirm no problem okay this is how this is why our next topic our next topic is how the system performs the availability check so what is happening here i am selling 1000 sorry i am selling 100 kg to this customer and what is the cost per kg that i need to enter in the system so let me double click here customer reference is a mandatory field let me enter this enter and let's go and see the conditions okay so pr00 is already maintained okay good so how much is that uh it is only 1 lakh usd but i want more than 7 lakh so what i need to do is i need to change this quantity to Seven lakh, seven hundred, so that my order value is more than the available credit limit. Okay, so if I try to press enter now, this is fine. I will enter this, and now if I try to save this order, what I'm expecting is system should not allow me to process the sales order because the there is not sufficient credit available from the customer. okay customer has a credit limit of 10 10 lakh out of which 3 lakh some thousand is already utilized now if i am creating the order worth 7 lakh it will definitely go beyond the limit of 10 lakh so in this particular case i want the system to either give me the warning that this order this customer has a credit limit of 10 lakh you cannot beyond cannot go beyond that or it will throw the error that it is not allowed to accept the order from this customer which is more than the available credit limit okay so only if all the configurations related to credit limit is completed then only you will be able to see the error or warning here if there is any issue for example the credit management is not properly activated then you will not get the error or warning let's let us try i'm not sure whether it is it will work or not but if it is work you will get a complete idea so it is saying document is incomplete let me click on edit yeah it is asking for the plant so or it is asking for the shipping point so i'll just enter the shipping point here uh i think it is not defined that is the reason we are getting the error so if you remember last time i told you how to manage this error go to proceed and make sure that this combination exist so what is our combination what error we are getting uh shipping condition blank loading group blank plant fscm okay or maybe i think if i enter the in this transaction if i try to enter the storage location this error might go away no it is not going so let me configure this 
would proceed and let me click on the new entry so shipping condition blank loading group blank plant fscm and i want the system to uh, take the shipping point as fscm okay let's go back back close this uh, remove this storage location and press enter okay so now there is no error let me try to confirm the quantity okay let's try to click on this so now the document is complete let's try to save it system has not given any error this means there is a problem with the credit management component it is not properly uh, configured okay so we will talk about i think it gives the error while creating delivery no 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 see normally it totally depends upon us actually so we can tell the system okay. to give the order at the time of sorry give the error at the time of order or at the time of delivery or at the time of pgr there are three different steps at which we can set up the system to give us the warning or the error message hmm. okay but we will, we will talk about that because that is the end to end configuration that we need to do but now if i show you this customer okay if i go back and try to commit again so bp uh this is our business partner okay let's double click on this okay and now you can see the credit limit is already exceeded more than 100% okay but why system has not given error because it was not properly configured system was not told to give the warning message system was not told to give the error message when the uh, exposure is more than the provided limit okay so that is not a problem that uh, first you need to understand what are the different configurations and then only you will be able to correlate why system has not given any error but what will happen normally is when you are creating the sales order system will issue the warning message or system will issue the error message so this is the overall functionality the functionality is in credit management what you need to do is you need to provide the credit limit okay so let let us talk about the functionality what this functionality can do so sap fscm credit management because we don't need to worry about sd credit management anymore that is not available in s4 hana at all so sap fscm credit management allows number 1 automatic calculation of score okay what is score i told you if you want to take the scores from the credit rating agencies whenever you are creating a new customer and you want the system to go to sibil go to crystal or go to any other credit rating agencies to uh, get the score so this credit rating agencies they will be sending their own scores so let's assume one credit rating agency has sent you the score of 75 out of 100 and another credit rating agency has given you the score of 50 out of 100 so what you will do internally because there are two credit rating agencies who are providing you the score you will again create a formula to maybe come up with the average okay so that is something you can create a automatic formula for calculating the score number 2 is based on the score system will automatically calculate the limit the credit limit okay once the credit limit is updated or maybe even manual so it will it will also allow you manual updation of manual update of credit limit in bp master data you can go to bp master data and if you want to change the credit limit manually even that also you can do so if i go here if i go to the change mode and let's assume i want to change the credit limit of this customer okay you can see system has calculated by default system has calculated 76000 only but still i want to give more so that is possible so automatic is available you can calculate this credit limit automatically or you can provide your own credit limit okay as per your requirement 
Okay, so manual update of credit limit in BP is possible. Number four, system can perform credit check at the time of order or when you do the delivery. Sorry. or PGA. So you can tell the system when to perform the check and what should be the behavior, whether the system should give the warning message or it should give the error message. So these are the different checks which can be performed. The whole purpose of this functionality is at any point in time, system should allow us to control the credit of the customer. System should not allow to accept the sales order from the customer whose credit limit is already expired. Okay, and the last one is there are multiple reports, various different reports, which will tell you what was the original limit and what is the total exposure. So various reports to compare the credit limit with actual exposure. Exposure means how much is already utilized by the customer. Out of the available credit limit, how much is already utilized by the customer is nothing but exposure. Now, out of these features, which features were available in SAP SD credit management? In ECC, there were SAP SD credit management and SAP FSCM credit management. Which of those features which are available in FSCM were available in SD? So this feature, automatic calculation of score, this was not available in SD. Okay, was not because anyways, now we are not talking with it in S4. In S4, credit, SD credit management is not available. So in SAP ECC, SAP has provided two ways of managing the customer credits. One is this one and one is FSCM credit management. This is no more available in S4. And this FSCM credit management is the only way to perform credit management in S4. So in S4, there is only one way, that is FSCM credit management. In old credit management, in SD credit management, automatic calculation of score was not available. Okay, this is, this is only available in FSCM credit management. Even this one, calculation of credit limit was not available in SD credit management. But this one, manual update, system can perform the check, various different reports. These are the three features which were available in SD credit management also and FSCM credit management also. Now, as a SD consultant, very important question. If you are working as a SD consultant, who is responsible for if a customer is, see, if a customer is looking only for these features, manual update of credit limit, system can perform the credit check at the order delivery or PGA level, and what are the different reports available for credit management, this is a 100% responsibility of the SD consultant. SD consultant is responsible for making sure that these features are working in SAP system. But, if a customer is looking for advanced features like automatic calculation of score, automatic calculation of credit limits to create the formulas, to get the data from the external agencies, okay, to integrate the external agencies with SAP system so that you can get this scores from various different credit rating agencies and all, normally this is taken care by SAP FSCM consultant. Okay, and normally I cover these topics in detail for SAP FSCM course because those consultants are responsible for calculating the score and the credit limit of the customer. Okay, but if you know this, this is very good. It, it will definitely help you to work with the FSCM consultant and understand the overall credit management functionality. And that is the reason I recommend I have one video on YouTube where I explain this, how to calculate the credit limit by using the formulas which are available in SAP FSCA. Okay, so this is not directly relevant to you. They will never ask these questions in, in the exam, in the interviews also, you are not supposed as SD consultant 
you are not supposed to answer the questions on how the score is calculated how the limit is calculated basic information is fine whatever you understood till now that we can get the uh, ratings from the agencies and all that is basic information is fine but the configuration and setting up the system to uh, perform these activities that is normally taken care by fscm consultant but still if you want you can watch that video even i'll do one thing i'll upload that video also in our sap sd training uh, folder which we, we we are having so that you also know how exactly it works maybe you are not directly responsible for that but still that will help you understand how this additional features in sap fscm works okay but as the consultant we are responsible for understanding how to set up the credit management in fscm how to provide the limits how to perform the checks and how to generate different reports okay any question here let me summarize it is very important to understand in sap ecc there are two ways in which credit management can be performed number one you can use sap sd credit management most of the customers who are using ecc 70 80 percent of the customers who are using ecc they are using this old credit management even today also second option is for those customers who wanted advanced features like automatic calculation of score automatic calculation of credit limit those are the customers who already in ecc also are using fscm in s4 hana this sd credit management is for the new customer who is implementing sap s4 hana directly they have only one option they have to use sap fs credit management if they want to perform the credit management functionality but for those customers who are already using ecc and now if they want to convert their system to sap s4 hana for them it is mandatory to convert their sd credit management data to fscm credit management data so that part we will be discussing during our session on system conversion okay the common sessions that we are going to have at the end of this course in that course we will understand that if a customer is already using sap sd credit management functionality what this customer needs to do during the system conversion to convert his existing data to fscm credit management okay any questions on this fd32 is absolute fd32 is obsolete yes any transition to old sd credit management that transition is no more so here there was a transition called as fd32 yeah fd32 was a transaction which we were using to update the credit limit now we are using transaction bp to update the credit limit right if i tried this transaction which was working very fine if you go to ecc system this transaction will definitely work try this in s4 you will get this error a new function exists for this function which means this function is no more available because sap has provided the new functionality for this feature okay so this functionality is no more available if you want to use the credit management functionality it has to be using transaction bp under fscm credit management okay this is the sap note if you go to this sap note you will be able to see the same information that you are trying to use a function which is no more available in s4 hana to be used in fscm so instead of using fd32 go to transaction bp and update your credit limit okay clear yes yes okay so now let's talk about how to set up the system how to configure this fscm credit management for our company that we created for sales organization that we created because as of now the sales organization is to perform any check and that is the reason irrespective of how many sales orders you are creating for which customer 
system will never tell you that whether the credit is available for that customer it will just allow you to get on orders perform the deliveries and doing the billings right let's assume this is a situation of a company currently company is not using what is happening is if a customer is giving orders worth whatever amount it is all maybe externally out of sap maybe the manager is taking he is verifying whether this order should be accepted and there is no check system will allow you whatever orders you are entering whatever deliveries you are doing it will never stop you but if system check that instead of manually manager is verifying each and every order system should automatically perform the check if you tell the system that see for this particular customer we have a limit of 50000 so we can only provide the material to this customer if his credit limit is not exceeded so if he customer wants to place a order first he has to clear his first bill if his credit limit is available then only we will be able to issue that order right so if that is the functionality that you are looking for then you have to set up the credit management for your sales organization okay so there are very you need to execute in spro obviously first configure the system okay and then to update the master data you have to go to transaction bp for your customer or to enter the credit limit okay and finally you need to tell the system that if this customer is giving me order and if his credit limit is not available what should be the behavior even that also we can configure we can tell the system this. so for this customer don't uh, don't block the order you continue with the order just give the warning message so that the person who is entering this order should know that his credit limit is lower but still because he is a good customer we want to continue to on the other hand for this customer very risky customer okay we don't want to take the chance if the credit limit is not available clearly give the error that i cannot accept this order because your credit limit is not available so those kind of settings we can do in the credit management component okay so where are you going to do the configuration obviously you will go to spro node uh, uh, sap screen is not visible are you no i am not i am not open i am opening now oh. I, i was just explaining you the concept it will become slow yeah now it is okay so all the configurations as you do in sd same way you have to do in spro okay the first important configuration i have the screenshots for all this i will send you the ppt which will help you to understand even whatever we discuss what is available what is not available what transactions are available i got a very good ppt on that which will help you understand the overall functionality so the first thing that you need to do is in the enterprise structure you have to go to definition this is the same path where we configured the uh, our sales organization our distribution channel right so the same configuration you need to go uh, in financial accounting again now this is a little bit a uh, debatable topic like if it is coming under financial accounting who will create the credit control area because this credit control area comes under financial accounting but it is a decision you need to take with finance okay even when you are working on dummy project in this training uh, i will not say this is a part of fi or this is a part of sd you have to think together and you need to decide okay who will take care of this okay but ultimately because credit management functionality belongs to sd i think sd should take care of this or maybe you can just request the fi counterpart that uh, because this comes under your node just uh, please create it for me just one activity okay so define credit control area what is credit control area i will explain first of all i am just creating a credit control area for my sales organization so i'll click on new entry similar to sales organizations and all things that we created i am clicking on new entry to create a new credit control area system is too slow today 
Okay, can we do one thing otherwise? Although, uh, as I told you, I have the hard stop in another 10 minutes, so we will not be able to complete this entire thing. Actually, I was planning tomorrow we will be having only common session. So, can we do one thing? After our common session, can we spend around one hour extra to complete this credit management part tomorrow itself? Yeah, I am okay with it. By what time is our normal time? We will keep it our normal time, which is uh, 10, 10 30. So we will I'm planning to keep this uh, common session at 8 30 tomorrow. Once we complete okay. that, within we will take this 10 15 minutes of break and then we'll continue with this credit management part. Understood. Okay. So in the meantime, what I'll do is I will send you. Yeah, in the meantime, I'll send you the PPT that I'm talking about. Just go through that PPT. That will definitely help you to understand uh, this configurations and all other things in detail. Okay, so before coming to the session, just go through that PPT. It will definitely help you understand all these concepts in detail. Uh, okay. I have one small question. Uh, okay. You have mailed some documents like PDFs. You have mailed some documents like PDFs. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, like in uh -huh. the, the, the headings uh, like, is like a bit confusing. The uh, file name is a bit confusing. Like in what way we need like, to go through that uh, if you can help us. Okay. Just just so the best practice is or <coughs> best practice you are talking about. Yes. Yes, like okay. each one is like no, no uh, test documents or something. Is like uh, test documents or something. Yes, yes, yes. Nagesh, I will explain you that. I think I already explained you previously. I told you that uh, you can go to the uh, rapid.sap.com and there you'll be able to see the test scripts for different type of transactions that you are going to do in SD module, right? So yeah, these documents are nothing but the test scripts. So the names which are provided, those are the standard names which are provided by SAP. Okay, and that is the reason I have not changed it because you need to be comfortable with the three-digit code also. Okay, but what I am also planning to do, maybe what I'll do is, uh, I will add the meaningful description to those files. Okay, that will help you to understand which file is related to which particular topic. Okay, thank Did you. It help? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the certification. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Nagesh. What about certification? Uh, coming to certification, like you mentioned, like you will provide us some sample questions or like scenarios. Yes. So that okay. it will be later on. If you come okay. all the okay. topics, then we will okay. talk about how to prepare for the certification exam. Okay. Thank you. I'll help you out. No, no need to worry. I'll also help you out in how to appear in the certification exam, how to fill the form and all those things. Right. Thank you. Hello, Vikram. Yes, actually. Hello. Yeah. Yes, actually. Uh, can, can you allow us to download this uh, uh, document? Because uh, some, somewhere I need those and I'm not able to even copy paste. Uh, yeah, some of the information from them. So, is it possible for actually, you that to? Would be because, uh, yeah, actually, that would be difficult because you know those are very strict documents, and SAP is not allowing to download without S user ID and password. So, just to help you out, I provide it to you. But otherwise, downloading mm -hmm. and all, now it will be difficult to give. See, uh, currently because I'm working on a project where I need to configure my own role. So based on that, so I was uh, requiring those. Yeah. Sure, I think you can, you can create your S user ID, right? Exactly. So S yes, user ID. ID. <laughs> See, Akshay, even if you create your S user ID, if it's not linked to the project, it may not allow you to download. But you can always ask your manager that these are the documents available and please provide me the necessary S user ID. See, why I'm telling that is in those documents, it may be like noted down who has downloaded. So if I give it to you and you oh. give it to okay. else, what will happen is ultimately <laughs> it will uh, that it. Good. Good. That is the problem. Mm -hmm. 
right that is the reason i am saying just uh, go with the flow so if if that is necessary document for you definitely you can ask your manager that this is very important for that i need the user id assigned to my project it's not a big deal you will be able to create it mm -hmm. so the procedure for creating a user id is too complicated in our way yeah, that's why we have to take so much approvals and everything so we tried that it's not like we didn't try we tried but we have to sign bond for six months and again everything like that oh, as user id is not uh, that one uh, it is not for the certification actually when i say yes exactly ID, i know but uh, uh, last time someone did uh, uh, ask for as user id so it's like you have to go through the process uh, itself uh, total uh, in that includes uh, bond of 6 months so it, it's like oh. you are preparing for exam so you have then only you will get uh, as user id and access and everything and uh, you have to uh, in 6 months you have to sit for an exam <laughs> so that's the process that is not actual process okay let me let me try actually i will definitely try and come back mm -hmm. it's a, it's so our company's process it's not like uh, sap's process is process all right right, right. Mm -hmm. no problem let me try how can i help you okay okay thank you uh sir so actually i have a question but we will talk because you have to attend the 9:30 okay no, no I session i will go ahead to sir yeah sir so actually i have a issue in uh, uh, in my sales order uh, can you go for that particular or i will talk we will we'll stop in another another session if it is good yeah which is that sales order it's a 787 787 okay yeah sir uh, actually just go in a line item schedule line because whenever you uh, will uh, means whenever uh, your sales order coming so it will be coming in two line schedule line so can you go in line item and go to the schedule okay now there is a reason so let me show you what exactly so schedule lines yes yeah no see the reason the reason why it is showing two lines to me i am taking my sessions normally on saturday okay right? okay and we are taking okay. to deliver the material on the saturday so system is saying saturday being the holiday right so the next date on okay. which we can take the material is on monday <laughs> That is the reason it is twenty seventh and the ninth. But you are working on the weekend, weekdays, and that is yes. the reason yes. just to be able to complete yes. quantity yes. on that date, sir. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> Actually, I thought I am doing something wrong. That's right. Something wrong. That's right. No, no, no. Anyways, uh, this topic, uh, as I told you, na, once we complete the credit management, our next topic is this availability check. How system determines this date. Okay, what is the ATP? What is advance ATP? Those are the topics that we are going to discuss in our next. Okay, fine, 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 sir. Okay, thank you. Then we'll meet tomorrow again. Bye. And tomorrow it will be at eight thirty, right? As you said, the conversation. Eight thirty, and then uh, we will continue with our uh, SD topic. Correct. Right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.